Good morning, lovelies. I hope you're all well. I am um, just in the middle of making my little green tea. Um, and I wanted to give you a little update on my skin. I think because I'm in the same place, I would, um, yeah, give you a little update. So things are going well. Skin is definitely on the mend, um, which is great. Um, it had probably last last Thursday I had a little bit of a, a little bit of a flare-up kind of inside my nose my nostrils all started splitting inside um, in the classic dermatitis fashion um, so obviously I freaked out as like, it's not working oh my god this is really bad um, also I'm getting married in a couple of months hopefully so um, this is also why I'm freaking out a little bit um, a little bit of real life for you there um, so luckily Pete came home so he um, could do his muscle testing on me and um, figure out what was going on because my diet generally is really really great and I'm you know I'm, I'm getting all the extra um, vitamins and minerals and stuff that my body needs at the moment that has been depleted from years and years of stress um, so we're kind of working on building my body back up right now um, so because it's in a really good state, normally when things go kind of off balance for me internally, it is something like bacteria, virus or parasite. Um, within the healing journey, it really isn't linear. It's like kind of unpeeling layers of an onion. So um, I started off with... Um, what did I start off with? Um, Candida and H. pylori overgrowth. Um, and now that's kind of coming more into balance, which is great. Um, but as we kind of uncover further down into the body, into the cells, into the membranes, into all the, all the stuff, then new things can kind of pop up. So for me, um, this week I had a, um, a retrovirus, which I don't know that much about. I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to talk about it. Um, and also a, um, a parasite, which obviously has just reared its ugly head and is giving my immune system something to think about rather than my skin. Um, so yeah, we changed my supplements just slightly. Um, and yeah, so I'm now on, um, a couple of whole food supplements to help kind of kill off anything that's not supposed to be there and bring my body back into balance and with any kind of rebalancing killing off of things can come a, um, a die-off reaction so if you imagine your body is like this amazing ecosystem you've got you've got all these different different bacteria that makes us up and um, there's an amazing book actually called 10% human um, I can't remember the author, I'm sorry. Um, but if you Google 10% Human, it's an amazing book. Um, so anyway, you have this like amazing ecosystem of all these bacteria and sometimes, sometimes the bad guys get really, really carried away and start taking over the good guys. And that's then when you experience bloating and you feel lethargic and maybe your skin's breaking out. All these things can kind of come into play. So when we go in with um, different herbs and supplements and foods and all kinds of stuff to kill off some of those bad bacteria so the good ones can, can kind of win again, um, then you can experience a die off, which is you can just feel a little bit sleepy, your immune system's kind of kicking into gear, your detox organs are kicking into gear and um, you can feel a little bit sick, you can get a little headache, you might feel a little bit coldy. Um, so for the last uh, three days, I think, I've been on these things. And yeah, I feel a little bit kind of, I think unmotivated is the word, and sleepy. I'm sleeping a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, but it's definitely coming into balance because my skin is so much happier. Um, I don't have any of that feeling in my nostrils anymore. And just carried on with my my normal routine um double oil cleansing and chamomile helichrysum and the power of 10 and josh rosenbrook um rosebrook hydrating accelerator i think it's called um 
So that's what I'm using and I'm doing um, daily red light therapy, which is really, really helpful. And I was thinking actually, because the with the red light therapy, the results kind of carry on. So say you start doing the red light two months ago, you, the results carry on kind of getting better. So, um, cause I've, I've been doing it so religiously now for so long, it kind of gives you a, like a lovely knock on effect. And it's also so nice to do if you're experiencing any kind of, um, healing reactions at all. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, there was something else. Uh, fasting. There's so much at the moment. Um, so much backlash at the moment about Will Cole's um, uh, intuitive fasting. And I, I understand if it's something that you don't understand, um, you know, the kind of background behind, behind the science behind, then the title is really, really misleading. Um, but personally, um, I found during my journey, I, my, when my blood sugar levels came back into balance, I was able to go, I was able to fast for longer and I felt better for it. So, uh, probably about five years ago, if I didn't eat within half an hour of getting up, I would pass out. That's uh, it's, it's a sign of, um, it's a sign that the body is, um, kind of relying on sugar to, um, create fuel. Um, whereas we kind of want to be able to switch between fat burning and sugar burning. Um, again, I'm not an expert on this. I know the basics. Um, so for me personally, I normally, um, probably have my dinner about six or seven and then I have my green tea. What time is it now? It's like 11 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock. Um, I do a little workout in the mornings, um, five days a week and, and then I'll have breakfast to kind of more lunchtime-ish and that, that just works for me. I'm not, I'm still eating the same amount. It's just in a smaller window. Um, it just gives your body longer to regenerate and kind of learn to, learn to access your fat stores basically. Um, yeah. I think that's everything. Um, if you are looking to get any of the QC products then, um, and you don't know which one is right for your skin or what your routine should be, then please send me an email. I'm honestly, I'm so happy to help. I love how many of you are like, I'm so sorry for emailing. I'm like, I told you to, it's fine. <laughs> Um, also, I have just released a discovery set which has the whole collection in and the first kind of batch are all going to get a free little um, Lucky Dip wax melt from me in as well so you can try the lovely candle scents. Um, so you can get the whole range in little minis for £45 and it's worth like £80. So um, definitely don't miss out on this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it forever. Um, we'll just see how it goes. So yeah, I'm here, I'm happy to help. I hope some of my journey is of some interest, some use, um, and any questions do reach out and I will speak to you all soon. Lots of love, bye.